Well, breaking right now in California, Democrats in the state are trying to ban local school boards from removing books and papers from the classroom that are sexually explicit and or racially insensitive. It is the latest in California's ongoing push to silence parents. So let's bring in criminal defense attorney and federal litigator Vic Bajaj. Vic, it's great to see you. California has a list, and this is California, Reform California rather, has a list. I want to put these on the screen because this is the books in public schools that they can teach. How to experiment sexually at a young age. How to go into onto the internet to meet people for sexual encounters. How to take revealing pictures and share them over the internet. The privilege that some white students have versus minorities, how American institutions are inherently racist, that the only way students can prove they are anti-racist is to demonstrate that by becoming social justice activists. Even some liberals will freak out when they see that this stuff is being taught in schools. Absolutely, and in case anyone can't see, I'm pinching myself to see if we're actually in reality here. But what this really is, is a, sh a shot, a dagger to the heart mm -hmm. of what the cornerstone of school boards is in California. If you actually look at the California Association, the School Boards Association publication, the, the, the actual status of it is citizen representation is a cornerstone of United States democracy. And this is a shot at the heart. Now, anyone who's a parent yeah. who sees a list and listens to the list that you just read is incensed, is absolutely besides themselves that their children are going to be taught these divisive issues. Yeah, you've got young children, minor in college. The assemblyman who is pushing this bill wrote the following here. The more they see their own culture reflected in material, the more they enjoy it and get curious about it. The more curious they are, the more interesting they are in learning the instructions. So in other words, you lay out all this sexually graphic material. Oh, and they're, they're going to like it. Right. Some curiosity is great, but most curiosity at a young age when you're talking about sexual issues right. like this is not a good thing. We have to allow the maturation of these young souls to be able to lead them in the right direction or the wrong direction, but to make their own decisions. I ask you and I ask our viewers, if you tell a six-year-old or a seven-year-old to really look inside themselves as to who or what they identify as, are you going to get reality? Probably not. Are you going to see what's in the mirror and reflect it to them and taught to them? Absolutely, and that's a dangerous proposition. Yeah, and it's amazing to me, California not only wants to take people down their path, they want other states right. to come with them. Now they're going to go after Virginia, West Virginia rather, for a, a law that says that boys cannot compete in girls' sports because, you know, that would be unconstitutional. And you think, are you kidding me? California wants to push their values on other states. And that's right, Trace. And California has filed an amicus curiae brief in the state of West Virginia <clears throat> there mm -hmm. to attack that potential ban on the regulation. But what it really says is the states have a right to define males and females as they wish. And with that definition, is there a real goal that the state is trying to address? That is women's rights, girls' rights to mm -hmm. actively participate in sports and bring the confidence that comes along with that. The courts there have found yes, the state has a legitimate right to do that, but California says, hey, listen to us. Right. We don't believe that should be the case. Yeah, we're the best. I want to put this up on the screen. This is Lainey Armistead, and she sold this to Fox News. She's an athlete down in West Virginia. She says allowing males to compete in our sport would be devastating to our game, our morale, and our safety. And the safety thing is a big point in that. i got 10 seconds for you. Babe. Absolutely. We've seen cases all around California, all around the union. You allow for the access of transgender individuals in all fields female places, right. you're asking for problems and invasions of privacy. Yeah. Vic Bajaj, great to see you. Likewise. Thank, Thank you. you.